Hi there, this is Eric Branner from Fonz. We're here today to do a quick case study to talk about per appointment billing specifically. A um, little bit of backstory is I am one of the co-founders of Fonz, but previous to that, and still have a very busy guitar teacher, a third generation music teacher, and really needed a solution to streamline and automate my payments because my wife Allison was running my studio here in Seattle as an admin and it was 15 or 20 hours a week for her and I got hooked up um, was very fortunate to connect with a, a tech titan someone who's been in this um, industry for a very long time and done a lot of companies um, and helped put together a team of engineers and designers and we interviewed a ton of providers to start figuring out the solution and that's how Fonz was initially born. Uh, and what we found as we were researching uh, and talking to providers from all over the country, and not just music teachers, but personal trainers and teachers and coaches and tutors, even dog walkers, is we found that the traditional model of invoicing, say, at the beginning of the month for the month ahead and sending an invoice to your clients and having them open it and hope they pay it and then Perhaps they missed something from the month before they went ahead and took off and then their child forgets to give you the, you, you guys know how it goes. Um, we realized that that was a path to really creating a lot of not just uncomfortable situations with your customers, but like just hard to track everything. Um, and we found these three billing models along our journey that different people used that all eliminated invoicing could create a very clear communication and understanding between you and your customers and, and basically just streamline your business. I mean, those three different paths to freedom, we called them, were per appointment billing, and that's what we're talking about today, that's what I do with my company, is that's like an Uber, right? Which is that you have an agreement with your client, you have a payment method on file, after every appointment or class or lesson, uh, they walk out and their card automatically gets billed. They don't have to do anything. Right, and for me, that's that's what I choose. The other two, uh, a subscription, you could also think of as a membership, is a really cool option. It's basically it's a set amount per given time. People often do it per month to basically for you, your client, to be a part of your organization. Uh, and the third, uh, we see a ton, not only with personal trainers and life coaches, but you know, music teachers as well and tutors, is these prepaid packages. These commitment to saying, I'm going to um, purchase 20 appointments from you. Um, over the next you know three months or whatever, and I'll use them as I go. It's great for revenue, um, and a lot of people really appreciate it. They all eliminate invoicing. They all eliminate chasing payments um, and are really conducive to automating payments. But today, we're going to talk about how I use Fonz to run my school, Black Forest Music School, using per-appointment billing. So for me... Um, like I said, I've been teaching a very long time. I live in Seattle, uh, but I also need to have a very, you know, pretty fluid schedule due to the fact that, you know, I also run fonts. Uh, so for me, per appointment billing is awesome, right? Because it's super fair. It's very straightforward. It says, hey, I charge X amount of dollars an hour or per appointment. And after every appointment, you get billed this much. I have a cancellation policy of 36 hours. If you cancel within that window, the system's gonna still bill you, right? Because that's that's the deal. And you know, I can always turn that off if I want to last minute if someone has a good excuse or they're sick. Um, but it's super simple. The cancellation policy is automated, notifications are automated. Um, there's never any confusion. You either had the appointment or you didn't. And after the appointment, the lesson gets billed. So I love this because for me, for my school, this is really simple. It allows me to see a lot of clients. Um, it allows me to have a really consistent cash flow. Uh, I just, I just love it because you know sometimes I need to cancel last minute. You know, I'm a busy person. I have kids. You know, this is great. Now, what I want to talk about is how this actually works, right? Um, and how this works within the system and how Fonz automates this. And so we're going to talk about a new client flow. Now, as if, if you're working in the music industry or a, a music teacher or a tutor or a trainer, we all know that recurring appointments are kind of the key to keeping our schedules busy, to keeping ourselves busy. So basically what I do is I get phone calls um, from new clients. I get them on the phone and when I'm on the phone with them, I just, I set them up in the phone system, which just a name and an email and their phone number, right? And my goal is to have them get set up with a meet and greet. And if you don't do meet and greets, I 
really would recommend that you do, which is a way for you just to make sure you're a good fit with your client. Right, And I'll set up a meet and greet appointment and I'll send this to them and I'll show you that in a second. This gives them their first opportunity to learn how Fonz works, right? By the time we'd have our meet and greet, which you know, right now I'm doing all my lessons online um, or in the studio, hopefully in the future again sometime soon, uh, we discuss uh, how payments are gonna work, right? How I do this per appointment billing method uh, that I use Fonz to it that they've already, you know, they've already gotten their first appointment in. Um, and I go ahead and schedule them in that appointment at that first meet and greeting if I have a slot. Say your Tuesdays at three, moving on, it's X amount of dollars, you'll get billed every week. They will get sent an invite that I'll show you in just a moment. And basically all they need to do is click on a button and confirm and add their payment information. This verifies and confirms all of their appointments moving forward in that time. So Tuesday at 3.30 from here on out is a confirmed appointment every week unless you cancel it, right? And hopefully it's outside of that cancellation window. That is it. Um, you'll see uh, in number four, number five here for adding payment. Yes, you can send the invite to your, your client. They can enter the payment information and click confirm. However, you can also enter the payment information yourself. Like often I'll be sitting with a new customer and I'll go ahead and um, click into their account, add their payment information for them while they're there so they don't have to do it. Because the reality is our clients don't want to have to do much more than necessary. You know, if you can do anything along this onboarding flow to make it easier for them, it's great, right? And you're done. Now, another way that clients could come in is by using Fawn's public booking link. Right, which is a, your own uh, specific URL that's got your calendar, your availabilities. I'm going to show you that in just a second too when we get done with this. And from that, you can set up an initial appointment, whether it's paid or unpaid. And clients go to your calendar, they select a time, right? Uh, if it is billable, then they go ahead and enter the, their, their payment information right then. So and that's your choice. You can set it up to where they need to enter payment information to book the appointment. Or if it's a free meet and greet, they don't. That's all customizable up to you. Um, the other thing is when a, a customer books an appointment from your public booking link, you can set it up to whether or not it's automatically confirmed or not. Because sometimes you want to be able to get the request and be like, oh, I'm not actually really free at that point. Or um, yes, I am free. So that's something that's customizable. And then once you get into that initial appointment, that's when the provider, ourselves, create the recurring appointment, right? Again, that's the goal, is you wanna get as many weekly recurring appointments into your calendar as possible because that's less work for you moving forward. So um, using the public booking link is awesome for your first one or two meetings, and it's also good for people that are outliers, um, people that come every once in a while, people that don't come every week to lessons, right? Someone comes through town a couple times a month and wants to grab a slot from your availabilities, that's a great use. Now, this style, this billing model of having your customers come to their lesson, walk out and get their card billed, is really great for both recurring appointments and for individuals. I love it because to me, there is no drama, right? There's no one saying, and I, back in the day when I used to invoice people, I hated them saying, I'm pretty sure we canceled that one lesson last month. So we went ahead and took that off the invoice and then I'd get kind of you know worked up a little bit. Or sometimes they'd be like, you didn't say there was gonna be a fifth lesson this month or anything like that. This method, there is no drama. You either have the appointment or you don't. If they cancel inside your cancellation window, they're told they're still gonna get billed. It's up to you whether or not you bill them, but the platform can play bad cop. And for me, I just want to have a good relationship with my clients. I just want to teach, right? Um, and I don't want to invoice or chase payments. I love that this is a clear, easy, simple revenue model, right? I love that you can also, within the system, grandfather client rates in. And this is important. Like, I have a lot of clients that have been with me for a long time, some 10, 12 years. I charge them a different rate than I do my new clients because I'm not big on raising rates on current clients. And as I've gotten busier and busier um, and more experienced, I've been able to charge more. So uh, everybody within the app, you can set them to whatever rate you want them to be billed. And uh, this is great because it really gives that flexibility. 
Oh, one thing before I move on. The other cool thing, could be stressful, is when credit cards decline. You're like, oh man, I've been going for a while and now my the payment method has declined. So um, this system, if the card does decline, will automatically reach out to them with a really nice letter and say, hey, can you uh, please enter in your new payment information? Thanks. Here's a couple things you want to want to consider before picking this billing model that I've noticed over the years is that there is seasonal fluctuation, right? If you're using subscriptions, you're saying, hey, people are paying the same amount every month, whether or not they come. I factored in sick days. I factored in vacations. You'll probably get 41 lessons. You know, that's great. And all through the year, you're getting the same amount every month. Subscriptions are really good for a very straightforward, very simple billing method. And packages are great if you're really going for it, right? Personal trainers love these because they're really goal-oriented. We're like, buy these 20 packages or these 20 sessions. They're great for revenue now. You get the money up front. The system automatically tracks those. They do a great job of it. Um, so if you're, you know, one of those two, if you want a much simpler, very, you know, basic, I want to have this many students pay this much, subscriptions are great. If you're really wanting to ramp up your work and really go for it and get encourage your customers to have as many appointments with you as possible, packages are great. I really love this hourly uh, per, or per appointment billing. Now, while we're here, I just want to show you what it's like to create these appointments, okay? And just get a quick visual. So when you're creating an appointment with a new client, it's so simple. You add in their name. And you'll notice here, I can auto confirm these appointments. This is a feature of being verified, you know, once you're in the system. So I can actually send an appoint a client an appointment and they don't have to do anything. It's already been confirmed. You can add the title of the appointment. Um, the system, we have a new Zoom integration where you can create uh, Zoom appointments um, or Zoom meetings, excuse me. Add your description, set your date and time, okay? Pick the appointment's duration whether or not you want it to be a one-time appointment or a recurring, this will allow you to set whether it's weekly or not. And then what are we gonna do for charge, right? In this case, we're gonna charge just after the appointment, okay? We don't have packages or subscriptions set up. Um, it's gonna be just for, for this. If you're doing a group class, right, you can also make this a public appointment that will show up on your public booking link. And then we'll send them this appointment invitation. Here's what the client gets. They get this appointment that just says, hey, we have this lesson, it's gonna be really fun. Here's the time, here's your Zoom link to click on, uh, which is great. Click on this button to confirm. That's all there is to it. They'll click on the button, they'll enter a payment information if they don't have it, it'll, and their system will, it'll log in. It looks just like your Fonz account, but it's much simpler. They will just have you know the basic information they need, what appointments are on their calendar, uh, what the payment information is, how they'll get billed and their billing information. Speaking of public booking, uh, I wanted to show you this. This is my public booking link. When people go to my URL, they see this. I have the options for a meet and greet session or for a, a guitar lesson, right? They'll click on one and then it shows you what availabilities you have, right? So here we are looking for a new meet and greet session and it shows you on which days you do have some availability. You know, on the 7th, I have a 3 and an 8 p.m. for a meet and greet if I wanted to. Again, very simple. And then here's just a quick look at what my day, I, I, I X'd out these names so you guys wouldn't see them, but um, the agenda of my day shows all my students, right? And just after each one of these students' appointments ends, their card gets billed. It's super, super easy. And while I'm here, I also wanted to take one moment and talk about billing. In the billing, we'll notice, and this is one of the things we when we talk with people in this method, are often like, oh, credit card fees. I don't want to pay credit card fees. And I want to take you back to the very beginning when we first were starting to build Fonz and we had this room of people that were kind of following me around and seeing how my business worked at Black Forest Music because we, we were only cash or check. And the math was so very clear that credit card fees, you know, the 2.9% that you know all credit card companies are going to charge is the best investment you will ever have for your business ever because they are the single key that allow you to not have to invoice anymore, right? And so it went from my wife working 15 hours a week, 16 hours a week to run my studio to none. My wife now has another job. I still teach 25, 30 students a week and I run the entire school myself in maybe 15, 20 minutes a week because I've automated these payments. 
Um, credit card fees will make sure you get paid on time, you don't have late payments, and that you're paid in full. Ugh, they're so good. So, And they're also a write-off. So I would really, if you have any misgivings about automating your business, streamlining stuff, setting up credit card payments, don't. I promise you that you will look back and be like, oh, that was a great idea. And that's it. That's my billing method that I choose. And again, we're going to do these same kind of case studies for other types of business too, so you can learn more about them. But in the meantime, if this sounds interesting to you, schedule a demo, sign up, play around with it, go to fonz.com. Um, I promise you that this billing method, this platform will create beautiful business relationships and um, between you and your clients because you don't have to talk about money. You don't have to chase them for money. You don't have to explain invoices or have you know uncomfortable conversations. So I'll leave you with a picture. This is a picture of my students at a recital a couple years ago. Um, love teaching. It was great chatting with you. Please let me know if you have any questions. Have an awesome rest of your day.